Welcome back, everybody. Live call-in show at 727-8750. And also, this will be on the YouTube late Saturday night across the country. So everybody, I have people from back east who are relatives of mine calling me up asking me about why I wasn't on TV, and I told them I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but anyhow, uh, early voting is going on up at the county building right now. And so for all you people who are registered to vote, if you want to get out there early, I went in there the other day and voted and wasn't no wait at all. So I don't know if they're having a big turnout or not. I didn't they get to talk to them. They seem to be having a pretty good sized turnout. But anyhow, we're at 727-8750. And I'm here with candidate for sheriff, Sharon Worley. And Sharon, um, is there any programs you're involved in at this time that for the county or for whatever? <laughs> Any programs I'm involved with? Well, right now I'm involved with the uh, Child Advocacy Center. Um, and uh, we do forensic interviews uh, for children who've, who've been uh, sexually assaulted or, or physically abused. Um, I'm also on the uh, museum board. And I'm uh, the president of the uh, Wild West Extravaganza. Well, <laughs> and uh, and I help out with the uh, powwow and oh. and on and on and on. Okay, uh, since you brought that up about the children programs and that you're with, we do have a caller on the line, and her name is Jennifer. Go ahead. Hi, I'd like to ask Sharon Willie what you can do to make the community better for tourism. What you can do to help the community make it better for the children. I like. I want to make the community safer for the children. Uh, we have a heck of a problem out here with uh, sexual predators and uh, child abuse. And we're working now with the uh, DA's office uh, and the sheriff's office is working very hard also uh, to curtail a lot of that. Uh, we have things on the books, cases on the books right this second uh, that are being uh, taken through the process. Uh, however, I'd like to get a safe program out so that children will understand what's going on. And that's expanding the, uh, the D.A.R.E. program and the GREAT program to include predators on TV, uh, predator, predators on uh, um, the computer systems. Children are always playing on those computer systems. There's horrible predators out there uh, that uh, we have cases going on right now with children who've been uh, attacked while just playing in their, in their homes, talking with these predators on uh, electronic devices. So we're going to expand that program so that kids will understand that everybody that's on the other end of the computer isn't their friend. Probably not who they think it is either. No. No, no that some of these 13 and 14 year old boys that they think they're talking to are actually 60 year old men. Yeah, that's well, modern technology, look at how the world's advanced, but then yet you could look at the downside of it. Anytime you have something good, somebody finds a reason to use it for bad too. So, you yes. know, and it's gonna really be hard to, but yes, the children need to be, I got a suggestion about children going home from school and that from the bus and that, we did it in Southern California, is certain houses for people to volunteer if somebody's home most of the time in that, Mm -hmm. They would have a sign up in their yard like a safe house and the kids would be taught at school. If you get off the bus or you're walking home from school and somebody starts bothering you. Or That's you a really somebody, good idea. You go to that house and knock on the door and that person will come out, you know. That's a really yeah. good idea. And, I'm gonna, uh, yeah, you know. I'm going to write that down. Because I know the school bus stops not far from my house and you got all these little kids in that. And so I'll sit out there and look across the uh, open lot to make sure that there isn't like anybody strange walking up to the kids and that. A lot of the parents pick up the kids and that, but 
they walk by my house in groups of two or three and that, but even though there's two or three of them, somebody stops and grabs one up. I mean, what's another 10-year-old going to do? <laughs> I mean, you yeah, know, really. You know, so, yeah, down there we had where you would put a, like, it would be safe house, and then the kids would be told at school, you see that? And somebody's bothering you or picking on you or you don't like what they're doing? Go there, you know. But You anyway. know the name of that program? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I used to have the sign up. It's I'll go find out. But it was like just for, you know, just for the school kids to go to. If they, for some reason, they themselves felt on. So sometimes it wasn't even really uh, a, a valid reason. But the thing was, is the kid themselves was frightened of something or something, you know. And they just felt safe to come in. Like, they'd come in and I'd offer them a an ice cream or something, you know, and that, and then call the parents and tell them they're over here, and, you know. And this is why. Yeah. 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 Anyway, we do have a car in line again. It's Jim. Go ahead, Jim. Are you there, Jim? Uh, uh, Jim, are you still on the line? Yes. Uh, go ahead, ask your question. Oh, hi, Sharon. Uh, I already voted today. And I want to say out with the old and in with the new. <laughs> and uh, good luck. And I'm behind you 100%. Thank you very much, Jim. Bye -bye. I appreciate that. I would like to thank Jim for going out and voting. I think, you know. Me too. So many people don't use their rights to do this, and everybody should. Everyone but, needs to vote. But as far as the children goes, you know, uh, when I was in college, I worked at the boys' club. It wasn't a boys and girls, it was just a boys' club. The girls' club was separate than that. And I worked for many a different youth things. And uh, I uh, think kids are the greatest. Uh, their mind is still so open and free, and they, they got such an imagination and everything. But so many of them are good. I, you know, I might say something that a lot of people out there are going to not like and that, but. I think with the drug abuse and alcohol abuse today has a lot to do with the children being abused. I think so too, and I think it always has. Yeah. You know, even back in the, in the Stone Age, the 40s, 50s, and 60s, well, uh, that was a big problem. The, the drugs have only expanded that problem. Yeah, but back then, people, instead of locking their door and saying, I'm not getting involved in that, if, uh, say, I shut up my, I got a 48-year-old daughter, you know, so that shows that I go back a few years and that. Mm -hmm. uh, if you seen somebody trying to get, grab a kid or they were yelling for help, you didn't lock your door. And go You the ran other out way. and helped you them. You ran out and helped them. And if you had to beat the person with a two-by-four, you did it. I mean, you know, yeah. now everybody, well, I don't want to Well, everybody's involved. afraid of being sued. Yeah. So right. they don't want to do that. But, you know, doing the right thing even when somebody isn't looking, yeah, is what people should go by. Right, and we're coming to an end tonight, and uh, you got any closing comments that you want to say to the people? Or Well, I just want to thank ev for everybody for their support that they've given me up to this point, and I, I really, uh, this has been a team effort. I've had a lot of people working on my campaign and whatnot, and and I appreciate each and every one of them. And we're getting very close to the end. Yes, two we are. Two more weeks and, uh, let's see, two weeks from tonight, we will be here with all the winners and the losers. We'll have it all written down, we hope. <laughs> now, I hope it's right, too. Lad, their primary, I got the wrong information. <laughs> <laughs> hope it's right. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, and all candidates will be invited to come in and thank the people who have... Uh, worked for them, who supported them, who worked on that. And, uh, you know, thank the voters for voting. But remember, folks, get out and vote. If you have registered, it's only going to take you a couple of minutes. And it's your right. It's in the Constitution. That's something you should stand up for. Let's not lose that. If you don't vote, you don't have a right to bitch about anything. That's no, you I don't. Look at it. <laughs> and, and remember that our Constitution is our most precious commodity. Right, well, we got to We have that. to defend our Constitution. And that's uh, where I think a lot of people are losing it. It's more like what I want, not what's 
good for the whole. Yep. It's good just for me and the people. Anyway, that's it for this Thursday night. Thank you, everyone, and we will see you next week.